Welcome to Emmanuel Church of the Deaf in Rochester, New York. I am the priest, Father Ray Fleming. I am the deacon, Pat Graybill. I am Danny Donnelly. And I am Patrick Sullivan. We are so happy that you have come to join us today for this Mass. The 21st, ooh, no, I'm sorry, I jumped ahead. It's the 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Here in Rochester today, it is beautiful. I hope all of you are having beautiful days as well. Let us begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Our Mass begins by first turning to God to ask for His mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and grant us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine. Yes, she has spread her table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, she says, Come, eat of my food, and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness, that you may live. Advance in the way of understanding. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our Responsorial Psalm Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. 
Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Our second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, watch carefully how you live. not as foolish persons, but as wise. Making the most of the opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue in ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Lord. And do not get drunk on wine, in which lies debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. addressing one another in psalms, and hymns, and spiritual songs. singing and playing to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks always and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood, remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. Alleluia! Alleluia! The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John that I will recite to you now in American Sign Language. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? 
Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I enjoy studying art history. Back when I was a student at Gallaudet, I had a wonderful art history teacher, and I still think about the lessons from that class. Recently, I was reading an article about a church in Germany. You know, in Europe, the churches tend to be very ornate and fancy. Even the doors. Well, this church, the doors have four panels. And the artist, uh, I, I can't remember his name, but he made these elaborate panels. And they show the story from the gospel. And this is the bridge from Jesus to our Mass here today. So again, these are about Jesus and the gifts that he has given us. His body. His blood. So there's four panels. And the first panel, it shows these large vats of water. The six. Remember from the story of the wedding? in Cana, and there were the six jugs of water. And they changed, and they became wine. And some people are like, well, how? Did he pour something in? Like, No, the better question is why? Why did Jesus change the water into wine? Because Jesus wanted to help the couple. He didn't want them to be embarrassed that the wine had gone. And more importantly, he wanted to teach his followers to prepare them for the Last Supper, when the wine would change and become his blood. You know, that is a good story for us. Remember, we give the body and blood. This is where it starts. And in the second panel, it shows the five loaves of bread and the fish, the two fish. Remember that story? Jesus fed everyone. He fed 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. Again, the question isn't how. The better question is why. Now, Jesus is always caring for people, and that's just what he does. Or does it show 
his followers that later there will be more bread than just the five loaves. That bread will give us life forever. This is the bread of life. That is his promise. Now our third panel. We have the 13 people sitting around the table. Right, that's the Last Supper. Yes, absolutely. And it's a story about more than just wine and feasting. But again, he changes the wine so that it becomes his blood. And the bread, it becomes his body. And Pat recently told us that when you eat this bread and you drink this wine, you will live forever. And in our fourth panel, there are three people together and they are celebrating a feast. They're in a hotel, a restaurant maybe. And that story is after Jesus has died and risen and appeared to people again on the third day. Do you remember Jesus on that last moment? He takes this and changes it and says, this is my body. This is my blood. And he shows that Jesus gives himself to all of us so that we will always be full. Now, I might be going a little off point, but I recently found another story. It's cute, but I like it. It happens in Ireland. About 400 years ago, there were some people in a boat. And the people come up and they find he finds these golden rings. And inside there are all these instructions. And one that he sees inside, there's the two hands that hold the heart in this ring. And it says, I have nothing more to give you. And that is what Jesus tells us. I have nothing more to give you except myself. And so Jesus asks us today, as we gather here at this Mass, accept Jesus' gifts, his gift of love. As we love one another, amen, please. let us pray for our church, our world, and ourselves. First, for our church, always teaching of Jesus' love as he gave himself to all of us to help us to understand, to help us be followers in his way of loving one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers for the world and for those that focus on power and success and greed, knowing that that is not the response, but that love that God has given to us. He gave us his son in love. And as we turn to focus more on love, we pray to the Lord, Lord, receive our prayers. We pray for those people who are sick and suffering. Are there names that we should remember?
play for Terry Francini. I'm not sure if that's the right spelling. They are currently sick. Please comfort him. Mm -hmm. So we pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. For those people that have died, including our church members, Josemini's mother, Elizabeth, and her last name, Crin. She died yesterday, and the funeral will be next week. For Mel Chua, who died a week ago, and we will have a funeral for her soon. And for all of the others who have died, may they now rest in peace of God's hands as he shines down his grace to comfort and support the family and friends who are now grieving and heartbroken. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. I'd like to also add one more name. Albert? He was a long ago member with his both mother and father, and the family has moved to Canada and recently passed. So we will pray for them as well. Lord, show us your mercy so that we may receive the body and blood that feeds us and gives us life everlasting. With you in heaven, this is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, maker of all things. For through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you. Made from human hands, may they become our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. You can place that here. Thank you. Lord, we ask that you accept this sacrifice, by which is brought about a glorious exchange. By offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. Now together, with all the angels and powers of heaven, in one voice without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth 
are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. Jesus first took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper had ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Now we proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all those who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again. and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the twelve apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. 
Amen. Together, let us pray in the way that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you all, and with your spirit. Christ's peace is here. Let us share that peace with those around us. Peace, peace and love. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of you that cannot come to receive communion, please join me in this prayer. Join us in this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord. 
that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go now with peace in your heart, with love and service to the Lord and each other. Thanks be to God.